नमस्ते नमस्कार सत्याकाल एंड वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल एंड यू आर वॉचिंग इनोवेटिव अमेजिंग साइंस विद सुनैना आई बिलीव दैट यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो माई सो टूडे इस वीडियो इज समथिंग स्पेशल बिकॉज वी नो दैट इन मेनी ऑफ आर साइंटिफिक कैलकुलेशन वी रिक्वायर मैथ्स and if you don't know the tables it becomes little bit difficult or rather if you don't know the squares also it becomes very difficult for us because in many of the competitive exams we have to calculate and find out the answers in few seconds otherwise we are not going to achieve our results so today i'm going to teach you rather we are going to learn three methods of finding out the square root yes you heard it right three ways to find out the square roots are you ready let's get started so today we are going to learn three methods of uh, finding out the squares so let's see the type 1 so here it's type 1 so in this method what we are going to do we will take such numbers which end with zero that means uh, in the ones place it should have zero so let's take numbers like 10 square 20 square 30 square and 40 square so if you observe what is common zero is common at the ones place so how do we find out the answers so we'll see we know that one square is one and here you have one zero but in answer you have to write two zeros in the second number you have 20 2 0 so 2 square we already know that it is 4 and instead of 1 0 we will write double zero and in the third number it's 30 so 3 square is 9 and two zeros and in this number we have 4 so 4 square is 16 and zero becomes double here so these are the answers so now let's see few other examples Uh, let's take hundred square, thousand square, two thousand square, ten thousand square. Let's find out the answer. So we know one square is one, so the answer would be one. And here you have double zero, so in the answer it will be four zeros. One, two, three, and four. Let's see thousand square. So here one square is one, and here you have three zeros. So in answer it would be six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's observe two thousand square. So two square we know is four, and here you have three zeros. So in answer it would be six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh my God! This number is ten thousand square, and you'll get the answers in seconds. So here you have one. One square is one, and here you have one, two, three, four zeros. So in the answers, it would be eight zeros. Just the double. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. you got this answer in just few seconds so now let's see the type 2 method so in this type we will take numbers that ends with 5 that means in the ones place the number should be 5 okay first let me take 15 square 25 square 35 square 45 square okay so how to do this calculation so we will start from this side so 5 square we already know that it is 25 so we will write in the right hand side 25 and here you have 1 so one's next number is 2 so we are going to multiply 1 into 2 that means 1 into 2 is 2 so the answer is 225 so let's see 25 square so first we will do 5 square is 25 and here we have 2 so the next number of 2 in the higher order is 3 so we are going to multiply 2 into 3 that is 6 we are going to put it here so 25 square is 625 next we have 35 so 5 square becomes 
and here we have got 3. So the next number of 3 in a higher level is 4 and 3 into 4 is 12. And next we have 45. So here 5 square is 25 and the next number of 4 is 5. So 4 into 5 is 20. So 2025 is the answer. So let's see a few other numbers. So let me take your 95 square, 105 square, and 150 square. So we know that 5 square is 25, and 9's next number is 10. So 9 into 10 is 90. So next number is 105 square. So 5 square is 25. And 10's next number is 11. So 10 into 11 is 110. And here we have 115 square. So 5 square is 25. And here we have got 11. So the next number of 11 is 12. So 11 into 12 is 132. So here is the answer. Now let's learn another method of finding out the squares. And it would be double digit numbers and we will take numbers starting from 10 to 99 so let's just observe quickly but this method is super easy uh, but at the starting you have to just understand the concept and understand the formula so once you know the formula it is very easy so let's focus so let me take a number like 23 square so in this case i have to write a formula so let this 2 be A, this 3 be B, and this 2 be C. So let us just write the formula. And when we are writing the formula, we have to write from the right hand side. So here it will be B square, A, B, C. A, B, C means A into B into C. Next you have A square. So this is the formula which you have to remember to find out the square root of any number starting from 10 to 99. So we have to follow the sequence from this side, from the right towards the left side. So next step is we will try to find out. But the most important thing what you have to remember in this is one digit one time. That means one digit one time. So let's understand how to find out. So this example is 23 square. So our B is 3 over here. So B square is 9. Next is ABC. So this is your A, B and C. So when we multiply 2 into 3 into 2, it becomes 12. We cannot write 12 here. So we are going to write 2 over here and 1 will be carry. Or you can keep it in mind. And then the last formula says a square. So a square is 2 square. 2 square is 4. Carry 1 that becomes 5. So 529 is the answer. So 23 square is 529. Let's take a number 44 square. So we just have to remember our formula. And our formula says b square first. So here this is b. b square is 4 into 4 is 16. 6 we will write and 1 will be in our mind. Next, A, B, C. So 4 into 4 is 16 into 2 is 32. And this one is 33. So we will write 3 and 3 again in the mind. And A square. So 4 square is 16 plus 3 is 19. So 44 square is 1936. That means 1936. So let's see a few other examples. So 21 square, it becomes 1 square is 1. Then 2 into 1 is 2, 2 into 2 is 4. And then 2 square is 4. If you really like this time-saving trick of finding out the square roots, to give it a like. And if you want to share any of your tricks with everyone, to put it in the comment section or to write a mail so that in my future upcoming videos, I can share your tricks with everyone. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.